Okay, so now let's make salmon. And I want to test out this no smell thing. So I'm going to put my salmon in here and I really want to see if the smell escapes the row pot. Because sometimes when you're making fish at home, the kitchen tends to smell like fish. It tastes delicious, but sometimes it doesn't smell that good. So let's try the row pot with our salmon. I have two nice big steaks of salmon. These look delicious and they're fresh right from the butcher. And I'm going to add just a little bit of oil right into my row pot. Just like this. And I'm going to put my salmon right into my it's a little slippery, so watch out. Right into my row pot. The nice big pieces. So I want to make sure that they cook well. So I'm going to cook them for about 12 minutes. I'm going to cook them for six minutes, and then I'm going to flip them and cook them for another six minutes. And right at the end, I'm going to add some teriyaki sauce just to give it a little bit of flavor and they'll be ready to go. So I've set my setting to pan fry and I'm going to set it for 12 minutes. Using my plus key, this is going to allow me to raise the minutes by 30 second intervals. And I'm just going to go all the way to 12. And I'm going to keep an eye on it because at six minutes, like I mentioned, I'm going to flip and then we'll let it cook for the final six minutes on the other side. And then right at the end, we'll add some teriyaki. So while that cooks, I'm going to go hang out and relax. All right, so the salmon is just about ready to flip. There's only a couple seconds left. I'm going to open it from the side and I'm just going to flip quickly and then let that continue cooking for another six minutes on the other side. Always making sure to stand on the side while opening up the row pot because that steam comes out fast. So you want to make sure to avoid hitting it. I'm just going to use All right, great. That looks awesome. It's beautifully brown on the top. Now I'll just let it continue cooking for the rest of the five minutes. Actually, I'll just quickly put it back up just 30 seconds, just to make sure that it's even on both sides. When this is done, I'm just going to add a little bit of teriyaki sauce and a little bit of water just to give it some nice juice, and we're ready. So I have about two tablespoons of water here, and I'm just going to add two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. My salmon is almost ready. There's just about 20 seconds left. And I have a bunch of green onions that I'm just going to put right into the mix, and I'm going to pour all of this right on top of the salmon. So I'll just give that a quick little stir. This has about five seconds left. I can go ahead and open this, watching out for that smoke. And I'm just going to pour this right on top of the salmon. You can hear that bubbling. That's what you're looking for. Great, awesome. So that's ready. I'll just close the lid and I'll just let that cook just for a couple seconds. And just like that, we're done. The salmon is delicious. Oh, well, I haven't tried it yet, but the salmon looks delicious. And what's great is I cannot smell it. The robot keeps all the smell inside, which is a miracle because, like I said before, sometimes salmon just doesn't smell as good as it tastes. So let's go ahead and open this. Looks beautiful, looks stunning. I can take my inner pot straight out of my robot and I'll just help my salmon to slide. Salmon is sometimes a bit tricky because they're a bit more tender than other steaks. So I'll just help it onto my plate like so. And I'll put the other piece right beside it. Wow, that looks amazing. And I'm just going to put that extra juice right on top, the teriyaki and the green onions. That looks amazing. That looks wonderful, smells delicious, and it's ready to be eaten.